Hey everyone, this is Elaine and welcome back to my channel. This is my design team project for this month. Um, it is what I call my witchy file folder album. I am on the design team for Sweet Pea Curiosities and I have to say she's one of the best digital artists that I know. Um, she's very easy to work with. She has great digitals and I know I go and I can never pick or choose, excuse me, it's hard for me to choose what I want. Um, and I have bought so many of her digitals and I'll tell you a funny story here real quick. I do retreats. So I've been trying to plan for my October retreat or our October retreat for next year. And it's kind of a, uh, and I'm not, can't give it away at this point in time, but the theme is a little different. And um, so I sent Marissa an email and I said, do you have anything that you could kind of whip up for me? And she did. So I was so excited. So um, anyhow, if you're ever interested in coming to my, any of my retreats, I do four with Lori here in Georgia. And any kind of crafters are welcome to come. And then I also do two in northeastern Alabama. Now they are focused on junk journal and mixed media. And, you know, we, we do things more or less focused on that. Now you can be any kind of crafter, but you do need to understand that that's where our focus is going to be. But, you know, we'll, we play with everybody. Anyhow, let's get back to this. This is, uh, like I said, my um, Halloween file folder journal. And I'm actually going to do this as a door prize for our retreat um, that's coming up next. So let's do a quick flip through. And I'm going to show you here, um, Marissa does great digitals. I swear, she does the best. All these pockets and everything come to with it. Now, in this kit, I did pull some other papers from some of her other kits. So kind of look around and you can see. Now, I'm also going to tell you something that I wish I had done. And I've done it before. But I was at a retreat with eight ladies and I got carried away. <laughs> I should have left this to be a pocket and I didn't. I glued it together so now it is just a two-sided page. But aren't those girls beautiful? Beautiful. And one thing that Marissa has um, mentioned in the past is that she prints either on presentation paper or a photo paper that's photo matte. They are usually 44 and 45 pound weight that I use. But when you do presentation paper and you hit the setting for presentation matte, this is what you get. The digital, digitals, excuse me, are beautiful. You get these words. You get the background papers. Um, here, I just stuck a pocket in a pocket. Um, but look at her. They are, they're just beautiful. I think this one came out of her Poe kit. And I added it in as a back page. But um, they're, to me, they're just beautiful. And uh, here I did three pockets. And again, there's all kinds of... Of little goodies in here and this I think was Halloween it was not part of this kit but look at here and again I kind of messed up these should have been pockets but I'm happy with it I think it's adorable um, you know you do have places on the back of all these little pieces to write and you can always add something in there and clip it to it you know there's you you can do your own thing you can make this definitely your own I do that most of the time with my journals. I kind of do the minimum so whoever does end up with them can, you know, add their own goodies and make it their own. I have seen some journals that I have given or sold to people. Again, a little bit um, minimal decorations and they turn them into masterpieces. So here's just a little bitty tag and then I added a little bit here. So I'm going to look at her. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. I love going through this. It's like that. that is a little flip under. I didn't put anything there, but you could. So again, these are things that you can add yourself. And uh, I did use linen tape, 
But it's, let me tell you a funny story about that. I think it's um, Market 49. When I bought this, I did not realize that it was repositionable. Now, if it stays on long enough, it sticks. But this time I decided that I was going to go ahead and put a little bead of glue along each of the, the pieces of tape. That way I didn't have to worry about anything coming loose later on. And, uh, and look at her. They're just beautiful to me. They just are beautiful to me. I can't help it. <laughs> I think this is another Poe page. Um, so, yeah, look. Anyhow, this is, again, a digital from Sweet Pea Curiosities. And I used some different papers in addition to the Halloween kit. And now I will put the link down below where you can find this kit. But while you're in there, poke around and see what else you can find to go with it. And I tell you, you're going to find all kinds of goodies. Marissa is a great digital artist and... I just, I don't know, I go in all the time just to see what new things she has, and uh, and I and I have bought plenty. So anyhow, that's it, and now remember that I do try to put up a video on a Tuesday evening. I'm not as good as I used to be about doing it every week. All the retreats and stuff that I'm doing have kind of kept me busy, and uh, and I don't always have the time, but I am try I am out there creating, trust me. Um, but you can find me on Facebook, um, Larkin Lane Creations. I have a, a group and a page. And then also my private Facebook. I've been a little bit better with Instagram lately, but I'm on Twitter and Pinterest as well. And I do have a small Etsy shop where you can find some things. And remember, if you're interested in coming to any of my retreats, the ones I do with Lori are here in Georgia. And right now we do four a year. And then I still do my junk journal retreats. And I do those in northeastern Alabama. So just reach out to me. The best way would probably be private message on Facebook. And I will answer all your questions. So again, thank you for stopping by. And I will catch you going down the road. See you next time. Bye.